President Museveni has on several occasions rallied NRA members of parliament to support the merging and rationalization of government agencies, saying this will save the government billions of shillings. Notu Chairman says it's about time to implement the global standards of public service as he asserts that the Labour Ministry is not relevant with several entities that are not serving purpose. Well-defined structure as far as Minister of Labour is concerned. In all over the world, Minister of Labour goes with the, you can have public service, Minister of Labour, public service and social security because these are just one now, this is a structure which will help government, first of all, to plan for labor, to put in system that can even monitor the, 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 labor, the labor market in the country, a uh, number of employment that is there, and also creation of jobs, employment. Because now, where labor ministry as a department is, is not relevant. It's mixed with many other departments like gender, like uh, uh, youths, uh, disabled, culture, children, women. So the whole thing, the whole ministry is uh, for exactly, and we are, it's not related to labor. So that one affects labor so, so much. Parliament has always been one of the government's biggest expenses with a growing number of legislators. Similarly, the growing labor force in both public service and private sector hasn't been unnoticed. With efforts to remedy costs, downsizing public service as a move has been undermined by the legislature as it thinks workers' leaders simply sold out the trade unions. Whether you mad gender and whatever ministry, the labor movement in Uganda was 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 effectively captured in the state capture and they are part and parcel of the problem. So they will not achieve much beyond the interest of the elite. Nothing whatsoever. Th that's a dead movement. They sold out in, in entirety. That's why when you ask ordinary workers, they don't feel them. I mean, you're a worker. Do you feel this, this movement? Do you hear their voice? So they should not waste a lot of public time. Whether you merge labor and whatever and whatever, those fellows. According to Kwizela Edi, the move to merge the two ministries is a complete waste of time because the two have different mandates. Merging uh, the Minister of Public Service and the Minister of Gender and Labor, that one does not work because different ministries have different mandates. Uh, the Ministry of Public Service is responsible by money power, for money power planning in the country, those who render public services. And the Ministry responsible for labor does not uh, render for public service. Those who render for private service, because their labor is responsible for those which are under company law, private companies and corporations, so they cannot merge. And those people don't necessarily get money from consolidated fund. So Minister of Public Service, the ones who recruit, they plan for get money from consolidated fund, public funds. But Ministry for Labor is responsible for those even who are working for private firms. And they get money from different organizations. The roles that establish them are different. The recruitment policy is different. So Muwanga Chivumbi further demonstrates that the union could simply have failed to maintain the cause because of the movement and interests of the stakeholders. I'm actually a trade unionist by excellence. But when a labor movement like the, in the UK, they support the Labour Party. But you cannot joke with the interest of, of, of workers in the Labour Party. They have a minimum agreement. Parties like the Green Party on Environment, they ensure. Now, these ones are, are very useless fellows. The government has on several times set dates to merge its agencies, but delays have been recorded. If operationalized, the reform could result in one trillion shillings annual savings in public expenditure. However, government critics have labeled it as bloated for political expedience. 
Ivan Tibenkana, Ronana Habwe, Smart24 TV Business Today.